Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Beauty Tour. Today we are going to be doing an eye look using the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek Collaboration Palette. This palette has been sold out for quite some time now on the Makeup Geek website, and it's finally back in stock as of I do believe today. So... To celebrate, we are going to do an eye look using this palette right here exclusively. It's going to be the only thing on my eyes, except for some mascara. So this is what the outside of it looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. Hey, sort of like a monogram is this moon. That's him on the back, if you can see. His videos are great. He seems really amazing just like as a person. Like he's honest. It's refreshing to see. It's also really cool to see men doing makeup. So if that's something you're interested in, head on over to his channel. But stay tuned because we're going to be using this bad boy right here to do our eyes. Now this is what it looks like on the outside. The back does go through and it tells you what each of the shades names are. And this is what it looks like. It does come with a, like a pretty decently sized mirror. But it comes with these shades, which are great because you've got some transition shades. You've got some foiled shadows, some shimmer shades, an inner corner shade. Just all like anything that you would need to do a complete eye look, you've got right here. So if you're traveling and you don't want to take your whole organizer of stuff then just pop this bad boy in your purse and call it a day because it's really like it's thin it's sleek it's easy to travel with so we are going to be using this bad boy today on our eyes so let's get started all right now that you guys are super freaking close and can see all my business let's start this bad boy first we're going to prime our eyes we're going to be using the urban decay primer potion right here do 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 there she be and we just pop this right on the lids here blend it in so while I'm doing this let me tell you a little bit about this palette so Manny is a youtuber and he just hit a million a million subbies so that's super exciting um, but like I said he's a guy and he does makeup and it's just really refreshing to see his take on different looks and products and how they work for him there's obviously tons and tons and tons of other men that do makeup but we're not talking about their collaborations today um, the palette retails for $45 it's a pretty great deal the cool thing about makeup geek shadows is that they are talc free which makes them a little bit in my mind a little bit more blendable so let's start this look so we're going to be going in with the beaches and cream which of so it's got nine shades this is going to be the top middle one Peaches and Cream is a shadow that I use frequently uh, as a transition shade. I have been using my Morphe shadows more frequently, so I haven't really been working so much with Makeup Geek, but their eyeshadows are really, really nice. And I'm just going in with a Morphe E22 brush, and I'm just putting that literally all over my whole entire lid. Just sort of keep, keep it, keep going up just a little bit. Don't touch your eyebrows, that's like a bit excessive. But honestly, do what you want to do. And I'm keeping it, so I'm going out just a little bit over here, like at an angle, almost as if I would be doing a wing, sort of like that pointedness, and keeping it around this area. So once we're done with Beaches and Cream, we're going to go in with Sora, which is this middle shade right here. In Sora, we are going to do a little bit lower than Beaches and Cream and a lot of in the crease. We're tapping off the excess, excess, oh. so we're tapping off the excess product, the excess. Why can I say that word right? And again, just going in, going in on this whole thing here. Dragging it up a little bit above the crease, but not like super, super far. Just so that when like your eye is open, you can see this like halo of Sora. Now 
And again, you're going to just be blending. You don't want any choppy marks. Not cute. Next, we're going to go in with Frappe. You're going to focus here. Frappe here. This is the first color here that we used, Beaches and Cream. And what we're going in with now, Frappe. Those are standard Makeup Geek colors. Sora, this color that we just did, is not. That is um, exclusive to this palette. So we're going in with Frappe, still using the same brush. Going to do the exact same thing, but just a little bit lower, keeping it just to the crease. I mean, the lid too, but like not really going up as high as Sora did. Almost doing like an ombre effect here, peeps. Again, doing the whole lid. Okay. So once we're good with that, we're going to switch over to a more pointed, smaller brush. And we're going to take Frappe just a little bit more here in the corner. And we're going to bring it into about half. Still, excuse me, still keeping it low in the crease. I already filmed a video today, so I am getting a little bit of a fallout of my um, mascara, but that's no big deal. Just going to keep building that up in here. And next, I'm really excited about this one, but next we are going to go into this really beautiful shade right here, bottom row. It's called Mars. Mars we are going to be putting in with a Morphe M321 brush. It's little. And what we're going to do is we're going to do about halfway in, a little bit more than a third. Keep it low here. And then we're going to do a little bit into the crease here. And then just start to blend it in. Uh, you want to, you'll see, we're going to feather, feather it out a little bit. Because we're going to add a darker shade out here. So what that's going to look like, and don't be intimidated because this color is so colorful. Just get it on your brush, tap off the excess, the excess, and just start going. So now to blend that in a bit more, we're going to go back in with this brush here that we just used to put in Frappe, and we're just going to blend that a bit so it's not so harsh and choppy. And then, from so this is what it looks like right now, okay? Looks a bit like we got punched in the eye, and I got to be honest with you, that's not going to really be alleviated with the next color that we're going to be going in with, because we're going to be going in with Aphrodite, which is the shade right here. It's so, so beautiful. It's like this really rich purple, almost like chocolatey color. Aphrodite and Mars are exclusive to this palette. So again, with that same brush. Okay, so get the product on the end of your brush, tap off the excess. And now you're just gonna keep it to this outer corner and going in a little bit to where we put Mars. And then again, we're just going to grab this brush back again, sort of blend it a bit more. And now I'm sort of carrying the product up into the crease. Very, very, very lightly. All right, so that's, I mean, that's it for now for this top part. I'm going to add some finishing details, but really that's like 
that's what we got going for us right now. Um, real quick, we're going to add, uh, we're going to go into frappe here, and we're going to be going to the lower lash line. Sorry if I keep like ducking down too far. So that's frappe. We're just going to deepen it in just a little bit. All right. So now this beautiful shade over here called Artemis. This is this one. That we are going to just sort of like put into here. Like so. Pat it out, peeps. Pat it out. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Patting it out. And then we're going to take this Sony Kashuk brush. Brush. And we're just going to take a little bit more of um, Artemis there and pop it into our inner corner. Bring some light to it, peeps. Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. And then we're going to grab a little bit more, tap off the excess, and go to our brow bone. All right, I'm going to finish up the other eye, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so there's the completed look. What do you think? It reminds me of that PowerPoint, like, transition from back in the day. Kind of like the new Instagram icon. It's like a sunset. But I do want to take a second to briefly talk to you guys about the palette. There are nine shades in it, five of which are exclusive to this palette. This one here, however, shade Insomnia, is typically a loose pigment from Makeup Geek, and they did add it in pressed form exclusively for this palette. So I wanted to take a minute to sort of swatch these for you guys, just so you can see what they look like swatched out. So here we go. This first one here is Artemis. We've got Artemis, Beaches and Cream, and Luna. So that is your top row. Like that. Next we have Cosmopolitan, Sora, and Frappe. There's that. Frappe is on the bottom, Sora is in the middle, and Cosmopolitan is on the top. Cosmopolitan is this really beautiful shimmery pink color like a rose pink it's really really beautiful the other two are mattes and then our last row we have insomnia mars and aphrodite so here's that last row check out insomnia that is a dual chrome if i've ever seen one it is so beautiful and again we've got a shimmer a matte and a matte check those out so in the palette, you get nine shades, like I've said a thousand times in here, but you have a bunch of different colors that you could do more neutral looks with. You do have a ton of colors that you could do, uh, like looks like what I have on today, which are not, they're not so crazy, but they're also not a neutral. But then of course you do have the shades in here that can get you a really unique, you know, just crazy crazy look that's going to be really beautiful because these are really amazing shades so that's the palette i hope you guys enjoyed um i've never done a video like this so i hope you guys liked it if you guys have any questions at all about this palette please feel free to reach out to me you can find me on instagram and snapchat at customer info i'll write it down below feel free to like comment subscribe and share this video let your friends know if they're interested uh other than that i will catch you guys in another episode of the beauty tour bye everyone i did that whole intro with something in my teeth <laughs> And in true Manny fashion, I threw some false eyelashes on, which I'm so not comfortable with. And I'm pretty sure there's glue getting into my eye. But I have shades that could be used for a look sort of like this, which isn't so out of 
like out of the ordinary but then of course you do have a ton of shades in there that you can get so 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 creative with so 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 I to be honest only added these lashes because I fucked that liner up so I don't do a winged eyeliner